love us is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Thank you for taking time out for yourself. You know, it's always a must be make sure you if you, you can do like 10 or 20 minutes of meditation per day, being able to take that time out for self-care and make sure you, you know, you keep raising your vibrations to where you truly need to be. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are uh, coming well, now please drop me a line or two. I'll have a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are being very informative to you and it gives you good vibes or good good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now, or, you know, they need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I'm listening to one one hour peaceful meditation music healing music positive energy calming inner, inner peace music and i'll place the link in the description box below they're showing buddha again with the lotus flower i think it's so beautiful um my video today is twin flame 101 hey Okus, when you become the voice of the universe we are all a voice of the universe it's like being able to spread your love your awareness your knowledge your you know the kindness that you know is placed inside of you uh, you know we, we've been walking around you know with our spiritual self dormant for a while that you know peaks out every once in a while and we truly had to go through that spiritual awakening that shock value of life lessons to be able to be that voice you know things come to us like i love when i can meditate and i ask you know universe can you please place the knowledge and the strength that you would love to instill in me so i can be able to you know push it out to them of love and light and awareness that they need to pay attention to the things that they need to know about themselves that you know they're scared to deal with or you know scared to face or even don't even know that is there for them to be able to pay attention to it's truly a blessing and it's just like being able to do these things like i tell y'all all the time my situation has humbled me. I feel blessed beyond so many measures. You know, there's times when I used to, you know, um, not have confidence in myself, didn't know if I had what it took to do these type of things because I've always wanted to do it. I didn't know how, you know, because I know y'all probably heard this from me before if you've been with me for a while, but there's new people that's coming through, you know, our community or whatever. And, you know, it's just a friendly reminder. You know, we're all doing our duty of being like that you know, that radio frequency to be able to push out love, being able to push out truth, being able to push out things that people need to hear at times, you know, it's good to be able to have that friendly reminder saying, you know what, you're doing a good job. Don't be hard on yourself. You know, you have came a long way or you're not even that far from your blessings. Just keep going. Don't give up on yourself. Never give up on the things that you truly want in life, no matter how hard it is, because nothing, uh, nothing is going to come to you easy you have to be able to work hard for it if it's a blessing if you get it just without no, barely no work hey it's a blessing but on the other hand you have to see this might not be this might have been something that you wanted but it might not last long you know a lot of times we go through different things in life we get upset and get pissed because we didn't get what we wanted right at that moment when we wanted it but obviously god had bigger plans for us universe had bigger plans you know, you, you might have been working on something really good, but God wants to add more blessings to that, those little special things that you wanted in your life, you know, and they're putting that, it takes time to be able to master something that they want to get put together and that big blessing to be able to hand that to you. And when you finally get that blessing, you, you can sit up here and say, you know, I worked all, you know, I worked hard for these situations. You know, I truly earned them. I was able to see the things that you universe was trying to teach me that I didn't know before. You know, I look at all the things that I go through, you know, the times when I really question am I doing enough is when I get the validation 
from people reaching out, asking for advice, you know, reaching out to me, you know, asking, am I going the right way? Or, you know, Rosalind, I'm having problems dealing with this. What should I do? You know, those are the blessings when I can I know I can be able to help people. And even if I don't have the answers, I will send you towards the directions for you to be able to find it. You know, those are the blessings that we get every day. You know, just working on yourself, being able to give love to towards yourself like you have went out your way to give it to others because that's a lot of times it, us as empaths we had that bad habit we didn't give ourselves that love but we broke our necks to give other people that love because we knew what it felt like not to be happy but you have to be able to place yourself in that happy spot so you can project all that happy towards people you know leave some for yourself but make sure you you do it towards other people as well and that you know and i love to be able to do videos like that being able to you know there's times i speak you know to the universe allow them to know I'm so appreciating the things that they place me through sometimes you have to really look at it and you you're actually happy that you had to go through those hard times because it then allow you to be able to see how much strength you had to catapult your own self you know even though you had spirit guides your you know your loved ones from that passed on or you know you know spirit guides universe whatever allowed you to be able to catapult yourself and see the things that you weren't able to see before being able to look at it in a different direction without being, feeling into it because it's like a lot of times we get stressed out and when you get stressed out especially if you're in a situation that you truly don't want to be in anymore if you're still in that situation there's st more stuff that you still need to learn and it's just like when you are able to heal from those things being able to see things in so many different directions in a positive way and you're like tag you know I worked my butt off for this I was able to see you know past what I was seeing because sometimes we can we have a short limitation on where our sight goes to you have the most best eyesight in the world but if you're focused on negative things all you are is going to see the negative things out of that situation but then if you're able to go past that and dive deep within yourself and seeing why you had to go through these hard times why did you have to suffer why did you have to be hurt you know if you're going for true love and want to be with your soulmate you have to be able to endure heartbreak you have to be able to endure all these mistakes you made in your past relationships so when you finally give that you know you give yourself that time saying you know what let me take this time out for myself and heal myself you know there's a lot of people like I said in different videos before I've came across people that I was friends with it was like Rosalind I'm tired of being alone or Rosalind I'm wanting to be in a relationship and now it's like when I when people tell me that I said look this is not to be me or you know condescending or anything like that but I said at this very moment how you are right now would you date you you answer that question not just because you're lonely or you want somebody in your life you know shoot I get tired of sleeping by myself too but I'm just not gonna have no random time Dick and Harry staying in my bed because it's like if you don't make my heart pitter pat there I'm not gonna waste my time <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my time you know we can be cool all day but you might see something in me I'm not seeing in you and it's not nothing against you it's just like we ain't vibing like that if I know I'm not gonna get anything out of that I'm not gonna waste my time and I'm sure not gonna waste yours so it gives you that time to be able to heal yourself, being able to step outside the box, step out the comfort zone, you know, because it's like, well, you keep on having these failed relationships. Maybe it's because of the people that you're picking, you know, because sometimes we can't see past the looks and sometimes they're just like shallow as hell or, you know, they're abusive or they're, you know, selfish, you know, all these different things or there's things about yourself that you need to heal from because it's like when you be in those toxic relationships you learn from those relationships you see the things that when you finally get to that place when you find your soulmate and God blesses you with that you learn all the mistakes that you had in that relationship and bring it towards this one not the, the drama baggage or the the toxic baggage but knowing whatever you did in this relationship you're gonna do you know you're gonna do opposite you're not gonna allow yourself to be anybody's doormat when red flags pop up you're gonna pay attention you should still pay attention anyway but allow yourself to be open for love you know you have to be able you want somebody to make you happy you have to be that person that makes you happy first you want that, that person to love you have to be that person that loves yourself first and then you have that stuff come in so it's just like all these different things that you have gone through you're being that that conduit to be able to voice the knowledge of love or even you know your experience through life on what you had to go through to get to where you are now and that's what I do you know allowing people to know 
what kind of, you know, I don't wish anything that I went through. I wish this not on my worst enemy. You know, this was the most ugliest feeling. I'm telling my children all the time, just for you to be able to endure the things that I endure, I would never want to wish that on you. Nobody likes being deceived. Nobody likes somebody hiding the truth from you, no matter how ugly it is. You know, nobody wants to be used for monetary value. And those are the things I experienced, you know, not just from people off on the street, but actual family, you know, and being able to rise above all that is good. <laughs> being able to place it in videos to let people know you will get through your situation. It's just a day to day process. It's not going to be overnight. It takes time. You know, you especially if you you're still healing from things that you did. In your past lives on top of this one and this is the reason why the situation you're in is so intense because all those lives before you didn't learn the lesson that you needed to learn in those past lives so they're making you learn it now if you don't have that chalice passed to you that has tox toxicity in it hatred betrayal lies deceit negative you know anger all these things are you're drinking it up from your past lives and especially generational stuff all that wrapped into one. You wonder why your life is so hell, <laughs> hellish. That's the reason why. But you're going to be that super soldier to get through peace and all understanding. Get through all this. You know, and then it's like when you get, you know, and it's just like your higher self, you already don't know what's going to happen. A lot of things that you're doing right now is feeling like deja vu. So it's a lot of things you're experiencing like, dang, why you knew I was going to go through this? Because there, there's sometimes if you really can sit there and think, you know, you have that gut feeling that everything's going to be okay. But that ego, <laughs> that ego and pride sometimes get in the way and start talking in that ear of yours. And they'll keep on wanting to reminisce. You know, this person did that to you. This person did that. Don't forgive them. You know, remember this, this, and this, and that. Or remember this painful situation. You have to be able to block all those things out. Not ignore it, but just face it and move on. And that's what I had to do. It's just like if I want blessings in my life, my blessings are so much bigger than the issues that is placed upon me. I think my happiness is way more better and may may uh way more worth it than dealing with sad and sorrow all the time. I can't deal with that. You know, I've been dealing with that for 30 some 40 some years. You know, it's time to let that mess go. But being able to be that voice that universe speaks through you is a blessing. Being able to, you know, being able to project out, yes, I've been through so much hurt and pain, but you know that's when the strength comes in. When no matter how much pain and hurt you have been through, still to project love out there, knowing there's still love out there for people. Because there's a lot of time people can go through this and shut down emotionally, mentally. I have did it, you know, where I came numb, where things will happen to me. I'm like, hey, I'm used to it. Nobody should be used to anything like that. <laughs> Nobody should not ever say that painful situations you should be used to. That's the worst thing you can possibly say that you have been through, that you get numb to that point, that that's all you attract. You have to be able to look in a different kind of way. I attract different type of people now. You know, being able to gravitate towards that, being able to know that I can help somebody put understanding to your life. Because it's scary to go through situations like this, spiritual awakenings, not knowing why you are the way you are. Don't know why people come with you, come to you with their problems, wanting to unload. And you're like, why the hell are they keep telling me this stuff? I don't want to know this. Because you're that person that they, you know, angels send them your way. Just like a lot of y'all come through my way. And it's blessing, a beautiful blessing to me when I can go out my way and help you allow you to see things you know there's a lot of people that have came in my life and now they're out of my life you know there was just a seasonal person that they were supposed to learn from me and I was supposed to learn from them go about my business yeah it's hurtful because you really probably enjoyed their company or that time that you have but it was like it was seasonal they weren't supposed to stay there they were supposed to learn what they need to learn and go on about their life and you do the same thing so being able to know that you're that receptor is going to be out there and you know live the things that you have lived through survive the things you have survived and knowing even though you have lived through so much hurt and pain in a dark space to know that you can still go out and reach love out speaks volumes about you it speaks a very big character about yourself that you're a strong person even though you, you you know you love beyond all measures even when hatred was thrown in your face a lot but even though you were shunned for who you were what gift you had people made you think it was a mental illness or there was something wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you actually you're more special than anything 
And that's a beautiful situation to be in, even though you might you might be different. You might have been off to yourself a lot. And um, people didn't thought of you differently because you were that person that was always by yourself. Or they see you talking to people that weren't there. You know, that makes you very extraordinary. extraordinary. God has blessed you double time for that. So it's just like I, I've met so many people that people cast them off because they were different. And that's what makes me love you more, just because you're different. I love everybody, but I love you extra. When you're you're like you you don't fit in a box. You're not supposed to. You know, you're not ever supposed to fit in with any pe any other person. That's what makes you very extraordinary to be able to be loved. And I'm trying not to cry because that's a beautiful thing to be able to do. I've had people that reached out to me and asked me, even though they taught me their gifts, they asked me, did you still want to be my friend? And it broke my heart. And I'm just like, why would you want to ask me that? You know, I still love you the same. You know, there I know there's a lot of people that, you know, their pam family cast them off because they were gay. You know, it's like you can't help the way you are. You know, that's how you are. You know, you, you're still the same person. You just don't like the same things that I'm interested in or, you know, you, you're interested in different things that I'm not interested in. And that's okay. You know, that don't mean I love you any less. You know, I tell my family that all the time. When you have family members that are, you know, they, they tend to like the same sex. So what? They're still human. They still need to learn love. They need, you know, they still need people, you know. But it used to always break my heart when people asked me, you know. People, when I told them the truth about myself, they walked away. And that's a hurtful feeling to know, you know. And it, it's just like nobody should have to go through that. And, it, and you know, I had to cry, you know, because there's a lot of times y'all would leave messages for me and it takes me like two or three days to answer it, you know, and the people that are listening to this, you know who I'm talking to, you know, and it's just like I wanted to be able to, you know, reply back, but it's just the situation that I seen that they went through in their life just by their words. I can see how their life was and it broke my heart in a million pieces just because they were they went through something like that and it makes me love them more just because they needed that those are the people you really need to you know hold close because they're hurt you know they've been ignored just because God blessed you more than they blessed them with the gift of love to be able to show the world in a in, in a midst of madness and chaos we need that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop this right now because this is that energy's coming to me and it's making me very emotional. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love, peace, peace.